providing food security. One of the greatest challenges of our time is a critical goal, especially in the developing world, where crop destruction by drought, disease, and pest infestation swiftly places millions of lives at risk of hunger. Scientists at the University of California, Riverside, are helping to meet this challenge by focusing on cow peas, a protein-rich legume crop of immense importance to Africa. The research, which is expected to significantly benefit resource-poor African farmers, is being made possible by a three-year grant of nearly $1.7 million to UC Riverside from the Generation Challenge Program of the Consultative Group of International Agricultural Research. A team of researchers led by Jeff Ellers, Philip Roberts, and Timothy Close work in both field and labs studying the cowpea. We're here at the University of California Riverside uh, Coachella Valley Agricultural Research Station uh, about 80 miles due east of the Riverside campus and this uh, location provides an ideal site to do uh, drought work on different crops, particularly uh, cowpea. It allows us to plant late. Uh, this particular trial was planted in, uh, August uh, t 10th and uh, you can see now we're in mid-November and it's still quite warm out here. It's probably 95 right now at 10 o'clock in the morning. The other thing about this site which is very unique which allows us to mimic what's happening in Africa is the very poor soil. Uh, this is virtually a beet sand type soil um, as you can see. Uh, very uh, sandy and not a lot of water holding capacity. So it's quite easy to um, subject the, the different varieties to drought and see uh, real effects. One of the things we can do in, in field station environments like this, uh, and we also do the same in Africa, is that we can grow out many different cowpea varieties or types um, and screen for those that do better under, um, uh, under pathogen pressure. So we can pick out the ones that have resistance and then we can use those as parents in a breeding program to transfer um, through traditional crossing, transfer resistance genes for those pathogens into the improved varieties. So many times in Africa, the rainfall will, uh, in, during the season, will start, and the farmers will plant at the, at the beginning of these rains in the hope that the rainfall will uh, continue and be good. Uh, unfortunately, uh, in many years, the rainfall stops for a long period of time before resuming again, and uh, they'll suffer devastating losses to drought. So we're trying to uh, select cowpeas that will grow uh, through these drought periods and then still end up yielding well once the rain uh, resumes again. UCR is well positioned for this research project, having decades of experience with the cowpea both in Africa and California. So over the years at UCR we've developed um, a large collection of cowpea genetic resources and these are cowpea varieties that have been collected from all parts of the world, uh, mostly in Africa, probably 70 to 80 percent are, are from Africa, and these are collected from uh, uh, villages to research stations to varieties that are sold commercially in markets and so on. And so this, um, this represents the diversity that exists in the cultivated crop species. What we do in the lab is we, um, we use uh, DNA samples to identify these genetic traits that we're interested in in cowpea. And the DNA system is like a fingerprinting system. And we're looking for distinct fingerprints that are linked on the chromosomes of the cowpea plant. We see a lot of potential for cowpeas in the United States in many different uh, new as well as old applications. There's opportunities as a fresh um, snap bean product. Uh, we're developing all white types that can be used in value-added foods they can be added in to nutritionally supp supplement many of our common foods such as mashed potatoes or breads, cookies and crackers. And the, the high protein content and the high fiber content, the high folic acid content, all will um, help supplement these uh, staple foods that we all eat. So there's uh, uh, many different things that cowpea can be, can be used for. Just to give an example, in uh, parts of Africa, actually in the northern parts of Senegal, and also there are statistics showing in, uh, from Somalia, that it, up to 90% of the crops is sometimes lost to the fungal pathogen. 
And in parts of India, the same thing has been reported as well. This is not part of Africa, but it's also uh, a similar problem where up to 71% of the crop has been re reported to be lost as a result of this particular fungus. So if we are able to find resistant genes, like I said before, resistant genes and also varieties that are tolerant to drought, we, we can easily, or at least we can make efforts to improve the yield potentials tenfold. What happens at UC Riverside in the next few years will benefit whole new generations in Africa of scientists, farmers, and families.